The secret hope that each of us harbors is that if we follow Jesus, if we obey him, then he'll bless us in the way that we want to be blessed, healthy, wealthy, and wise. At least that's the hope. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. But somewhere deep inside, we're afraid that it won't work out that way, that bad things will still happen, and all that hard work of following Jesus will have been in vain. It's a risk following Jesus, so we expect a reward. And yet you and I know that bad things do happen. Some people, take John the Baptist for instance, suffer a lot even though they've done all the right things. On Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced for him and his group. Herod was very pleased with her, so he promised that he'd give her anything she wanted. Herodias told her daughter what to ask for. So she said to Herod, give me the head of John the baptizer here on this plate. King Herod was very sad, but he'd promised to give the girl anything she wanted. And the people eating with Herod had heard his promise. So he ordered what she asked to be done. He sent men to the prison where they cut off John's head and the men brought John's head on a plate and gave it to the girl. Then she took the head to her mother, Herodias. John the Baptist fully obeyed God and yet still God allowed him to be beheaded. So what's the answer? Well, it's definitely not in the trinkets and baubles of this world, no. Pleasing God has to be its own reward because he owes us nothing. That's his word, fresh for you today. The riches of pleasing God are so much greater than the trinkets this world has to offer, seriously. So if you'd like to go a bit deeper, then stop by and explore ChristianityWorks.com where you'll find a wealth of messages on all sorts of different subjects straight out of God's Word and conveniently arranged so that you can find exactly what you need for today. Again, that's all at ChristianityWorks.com.